Hi guys, this is Vineet and I welcome you to this video. Today's video topic is uh, date and time data types in SQL Server. And this is part three of this uh, video series on date and time data types. So before I proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. There's a subscribe button below this video. Click on that subscribe button. It will give you a bell icon. Click on that bell icon, select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future and upcoming videos. So let me give you five seconds. Please go ahead and subscribe guys. I'm waiting for you. So guys, I hope you must have subscribed by now. So let's move ahead. In case you want to make any offers or donations to our channel, you can do that so by going to the topmate.io link, uh, which is given on this slide at the bottom in blue color. So you can type out this link in your browser and open up the topmate.io page. You need to type in the complete link uh, to make the donations. Don't uh, type in the partial link, uh, type in the complete link and it will open up a page for donation where you can make uh, contributions or donations to our channel and in case you want to pay using any of the upi apps uh, like google pay or phone pay or any other upi apps you can scan the barcode that is coming on the right hand side uh, through any of the upi apps to make any donations and offerings all right uh, let me come back to today's topic which is date and time data types in sql server uh, this is part three of this video series and let me go to notes quickly i will be starting with uh, a demo in our previous video we were discussing about the date time offset data type so we were discussing about that and if you haven't watched uh, the earlier two parts of this video series i would highly recommend please go ahead and do so so in our previous video we had covered the date time offset data type and we have discussed about the data type today i will cover a demo where i will cast various date time strings literals into various date and time data type formats so we have a code uh, which we need to execute so let me copy out this code from here and let me invoke sql server and i will paste those lines in and i will explain each and every line to you so basically um, these are conversion of a string literal into various uh, date and time formats so i will first uh, put in the code execute the code and show you how uh, date and time converts or casts uh, as per the various data types let's wait for sql server to launch quickly after which we will explain it to you so sql server is launched guys and let me log into the default instance of sql server you may connect to any of the databases that's not an issue so let me trigger a new query against adventureworks database you can choose any database because the queries we are executing are not uh, database related let me paste in these queries which i've copied so these are the queries so where we are using a cast function to cast this uh, string literal um, the string ritual which is used is uh, same for all the cast statements not same for all the cast statements for these two statements the string literal is little different so but for most of the statements the string literal is same and we are converting this uh, string literal into the bigger one into time 7 format and we are converting it to date format and we are converting it to date time 2 with a 7 date precision and we are converting it to date time offset with the seven day precision uh, and the last two statements uh, are looking to be the same the only difference here is we have introduced a space here but uh, here we don't have a space which is the date time offset in iso 8601 format so that's why i've specified that uh, this is iso 8601 format so let me execute this statement and we will analyze the result so the date has come this string literal has come in very date time formats so first one is the time format time 7 format basically so we got the time out of this string literal and these are milliseconds so we got uh, 7 milliseconds uh, as mentioned 7 over here and the only thing uh, we cannot get more than 7 because uh, here we only have 7 date precision uh, in the string literal now let's talk about conversion of the same string into the date 
data type we just got the date out of that uh, string literal here now the third conversion is into the small date time so in small date time we don't get any milliseconds so we don't get this part so we will only get uh, this part of the date time string literal so here is the output we got and also your seconds get rounded off to zero zero so that's the small date time format conversion next conversion is of the same string literal into a date time format in the date time format we do keep the milliseconds as, as also the seconds part is not rounded off here it's still at 27 next is the conversion of the big string literal into the date time two format with the seven precision so this is the output for date time two uh, we preserve all the date time and second settings and uh, for milliseconds uh, we have uh, set the precision to seven so we got the seven day precision here let's uh, discuss on the conversion of the same literal string into the date time offset setting so in the previous setting the offset was not preserved which was plus 12 15 this was not preserved in the date time to data type as well as the date time data type as well the offsets are not preserved also for small date time date time these uh, offsets are not preserved all right and but if we use the date time offset data type uh, we must preserve this uh, the system preserves this uh, offsets so if we convert this link into the date time offset data type uh, here we have a space between the milliseconds and the offset we preserve the date the time and the seconds part as well as the milliseconds part and after that we have preserved the precision as well the same as with the last string we have preserved the precision as well for the offset but the data type uh, this uh, notation is uh, the has the compatibility with the iso 8601 standard so yeah guys we have shown you some uh, conversions here uh, in the offset conversions the daytime time offset conversions we do preserve the time offset or time zone offset that's the only difference let's go back to notes so let's discuss about the time zone offset so we see here these these are the time zone offsets over here so a time zone offset basically specifies the zone offset from the utc for a time so for example it is showing us a, the previous query was showing us a offset of uh, 12 hours and 15 minutes from the utc time all right so this basically denotes a time zone uh, where the time zone is uh, utc plus 12 15 12 hours 15 minutes so this helps us in locating the zone basically to which uh, zone this uh, date time belongs a time zone offset specifies the zone offset from utc for a time and daytime value and the time zone offset can be represented as plus minus hours and minutes to the utc time now let me take you through some of the demos here so the first demo is a discussion on the time zone conversion syntax which is basically the add time zone syntax so this particular syntax the add time zone syntax was introduced in the sql server version 2016 and basically uh, this syntax is introduced to facilitate uh, daylight saving aware universal time zone conversions and uh, this syntax is especially useful when converting data without the time zone offset so this day this plays a crucial role where we don't have time zone offsets and we want to see a data in a particular time zone daytime data in a particular time zone so this uh, syntax is especially useful in those scenarios uh, when we convert data without the time zone offsets to data with the time zone offsets so we will cover this demo and all right let me show you a demo for this where i will use that time zone syntax so let me write a statement in sql server so let me write the statement from scratch i'm removing this so along with me you can write as well so i'm doing a select and i'm doing a casting of a particular string literal which is a date string literal i'm taking data as this and i'm converting this as a date time offset i'm converting this uh, string literal into a date time offset so let's execute this statement to see what i get all right we got the string literal completely with zero in the milliseconds part and uh, we got the date time offset 
uh, which is a default of plus 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the UTC uh, time zone, which is plus 0, 0, 0, 0. Now let's uh, convert it further uh, using the cast statement. So let me cast the inner cast statement. So let's convert this statement by using the add time zone clause. So let's use the add time zone clause here. So this is a UTC time and we are converting it according to a particular time zone. So let's see. Let's see if we want to view it, uh, view this time in now. This is the UTC time, right? And what if we want to view this time into a particular time zone, which is the Pacific time zone? So what we can do, we can use this uh, add time zone syntax and we can specify the time zone in which we want to view this uh, daytime data. So let me use the Pacific standard zone or Pacific standard time. We want to see the data and we can convert this data as a daytime too to get the data in daytime two format. But the data will, here it is showing zero zero hours, right? On three seven midnight, uh, the time is showing this. Right, I can copy it as well to just give you an idea what was the area data. Let me preserve it. So this is in the UTC format, right? And uh, here I'm doing a time zone conversion into the Pacific Standard Time for the same data, and we are using the date time two data type uh, to display that data. So this is the cast. The cast is completed. Now let's take this output as I'm giving the column name here. So let's take it as the PST column name. Now let's execute this statement. So we have executed the query, the same data. The date was 37000 hours at UTC time. Now this is converted into a Pacific time. So this is the Pacific time conversion. So we can use the add time zone syntax to convert up time. To see that time in a particular time zone. So this is the time which is in the PST format. Not format, uh, we can say zone. UTC time zone. This time is displayed in the UTC time zone. Now this time is the same time displayed in the PST time zone or Pacific Standard Time. All right, so some hours were detected from it. Uh, we can see that around what we can say around five seven hours are deducted from this uh, utc time zone to take us to the pacific standard time zone and this deduction was done automatically we simply need to use that time zone uh, parameter and specify the time zone in which we want to view the time all right so this statement is very useful guys uh, you should practice it uh, this will be very useful in your day-to-day uh, -day scenarios now let's come to the next demo which is uh, discussing about the conversion of date time offset data type so basically whenever we convert to date and time data types the sql server rejects all values that it cannot recognize as dates or times right during the conversion now let's talk about conversion to date time offset data type and here we will show you an example of updating data from a data type without offsets to a new date time offset data type column. Now we can check the time zone uh, information for the system. Uh, let's check the time zone name information. Let me show you the syntax for that. So if you type select star from the, there's a system catalog view, sys.timezoneinfo and we can specify the time zone let's take the time zone we have taken above well, let's use this the pacific standard time so we can say where name equals this let's execute this statement to see what we get we will get information on this time zone so it is showing us that uh, we we are fetching information about the pacific standard time and uh, the current use utc offset for uh, this uh, time zone is minus eight from the UTC time, minus eight hours from the UTC time. And uh, this time zone is not currently in DST, right? And similarly, we can check the information about all the other time zones by just using this uh, syntax, which I've highlighted. We can execute it. It will show us all the time zones over here. 
so it has the time zone information for all the zones so you can check that out so some of the zones are in uh, DST time change we can check that right like the Morocco standard time is currently in the day daylight saving uh, time zone let's move ahead and we have already shown you an example that uses the add time zone syntax but uh, let's uh, run a bigger code where we will uh, do several conversions so we will use the add time zone syntax twice and we will create a sample code for you and basically we will create a table with the name uh, audit and uh, we will add data to this table that spans multiple daylight uh, saving time changes and adds a new date time offset column to it and and we are assuming here that audit created column is a data date time two data type without the offsets and was uh, written using the utc time zone now let me take you through that uh, example quickly so along with me you can uh, type in the sql code for me so you can type it along with me so we are creating a table with the name uh, dbo.edit we are creating this table in the adventureworks 2022 database so if you have any test database you can create that table there so we are creating an audit table and uh, let's uh, define the structure of this table uh, the structure of this uh, table includes our audit created column and this will be of date time type uh, date time two type with zero precision and uh, this will not be a null column let's use go so let's first create the table so that our audit table gets created we can use select star from uh, audit simply and uh, run this statement and uh, right now we see we we have a single column audit created which is of uh, date time to data type now let's insert some values into this uh, table so let's do insert into the audit table and we have the audit created column let's insert the values uh, we are inserting some date time values into this table so let's take a date 112024 let's store this value insert some more values let's do insert into audits audit created uh, values uh, let's uh, insert another uh, date time string literal this time let's take uh, first may 2024 and with the time 12 o'clock and let's, let's insert one more data row into this table so insert into audit and uh, audit created is the column name let's insert the values uh, another string literal let's take a date first december 2024 with the time as 12 hours so let's insert these uh, three rows into this table we can uh, execute all these uh, three statements in a single go so three rows are inserted we can check the order table now we have these three rows right with three different rates now let's do the alteration of this table so so far if we talk about this column audit created over here this is of date time two data type right so now we, what we are doing is we are altering this table uh, which is tbo.audit uh, once we alter this table we are entering a, adding a column basically so we are adding a column audit created offset which is of date time offset type and uh, the precision i'm taking here is zero and this uh, column can accept nulls so let's just execute this statement to add the column so right now if we are execute the statement to get data from our table we see we we have two columns uh, the one we have inserted right now which and this second column is of uh, data type uh, daytime offset with a zero precision we have added a column now let's declare a variable here i'm declaring a variable using that declare syntax so i'm declaring a time zone variable of varchar uh, type 50 let's use this variable in the select statement now let's use this time zone variable and this time zone variable will hold the name of uh, the time zone so i'm taking a name column from the sys dot uh, time zone info earlier we have shown you this table right uh, this uh, sys dot time zone info it has a name column so whatever value is uh, there in the name column i'm putting that value in the time zone uh, variable 
we are selecting a particular time zone uh, here which is the pacific standard time i can copy it from the another query window so let's copy this and put it here so what this statement will do this statement will get the data where the zone is specific standard time and put that data into the time zone variable so let me quickly go ahead and execute this statement so we need to declare a variable as well so let's declare it and see if we are able to use this variable so if i do select time zone i'm not sure if it still contains the specific standard time value so it should it will not execute uh, all alone so yeah and this is the combination of statement which we need to execute uh, in a single go so we have declared a variable of varchar type 50 which is a time zone variable and we are using this variable to store the name from the sys.timezoneInfo time zone info table where the name is equal to passive extended time so basically passive extended time will get stored in the time zone variable now what we are doing is we are using an update statement and we are updating the audit table right and we are setting the audit created offset column we had created earlier we are setting the value of this second column so right now if we take a look at this table right we see that uh, this column is currently null so what we are doing is we are copying out these values to the second column right so we are setting the audit created offset to similar to audit created so we are creating the audit created offset to audit created all right but yeah the data type of two columns are different this is the date time two column right specified above the first one is the date time two column the second one is the date time offset column so here we are updating the audit table where we are setting the audit uh, created offset column similar to the audit created column and basically we are copying the data out to the audit created offset column from the audit created column while using the set statement what we can do is uh, we can use that time zone statement we want to store data here in the particular time zone let's use the time zone parameter this can be uh, taken in a single line as well but yeah for clarity sake i've taken it in two lines so this is a sub statement of this set statement so after audit created we we are updating uh, this column audit created offset and we are using the add time add time zone clause and we are using the utc time format for our utc time zone for this particular column audit created offset to store the data so we have used the add time zone clause utc add time so here we are using the additional clause which is add time and here we will pass on the time zone uh, variable over here all right so we have uh, passed the time zone variable over here so the syntax is little incorrect so we need to use uh, so we have used two utc time zone uh, statements over here add time zone statements we have used it two times right so first we have used add time zone utc and second we have used add time zone specific standard time which is uh, stored in this variable right and where we can specify the condition here set where the audit uh, created offset is null update only those rows so uh, we want these three rows to be updated so let's see what if we run this statement what we will get so we get this statement so three rows are affected let's check the data out so we 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 have used two at time zone statements over here so i don't know which has taken place all right so so we have used the audit created we have taken this audit created time zone which is basically this column we have taken it at at time zone utc and we have converted this to pacific standard uh, time time zone so this is how you do that you need to remember this syntax all right so the time zones are uh, these are being considered as the utc times and the same times are converted into the pacific time zone timing so only dates are different times are same so this one is uh, showing difference because of the daylight saving time uh, on that particular date and that's why we we are seeing somewhere we are seeing minus seven as offset and somewhere we are seeing minus eight offset but these all three times are in the passive extended time all right so we got the data right 
so this is how you can do conversions from utc time to a particular time zone format so this is a good syntax to do so right we have considered audit created column at time zone utc and we have converted that into time zone at pacific standard time so we got the conversions right and these are utcs these are pacific standard times all right so this demo is done now let me take you through another demo let's see how much we have recorded for this video i think we should uh, keep it this much for this video we have recorded almost like 30 minutes of video so let's stop it here in our next video what we'll do we will carry on with our next demo which is converting the date time of the data type into the so so far we have done this demo discussion on time zone conversion syntax basically we have shown you at time zone syntax the next demo we will start off with not in next demo in our next video uh, video series which will be the part four of date and time uh, video series uh, we will cover start off with the demo convert to date time offset data type to maybe other date and time types so far i think uh, we uh, we have uh, discussed this demo where we have shown you how to use that time zone uh, syntax here as well in this demo but in our next video, we will start off with third demo where we will convert the date time offset data type into other date and time formats or the other date and time types. So yeah, that is what we will discuss in our next video. We will also talk about the conversion of string literals uh, into date time offsets. And yeah, we will be done. So part four will be the last part of this. Uh, not the last part, but yeah, it will be a fourth part. I think it will take one or two more parts to cover off the date time and time series completely. So guys, I hope you like this demo which I have covered today. We have co uh, covered a couple of demos here, specifically in the SQL Query 1 and uh, the SQL Query 2. I hope you like the code that we have written and I hope you have practiced it uh, along with me as well. If not, you can watch out the videos uh, again in the free time and uh, along with the SQL server on your system and you can practice this uh, uh, demos along with uh, watching the videos all right i thank you so much for your time on this video today guys and let me take you back to slides so guys if you have not yet uh, subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so there's a subscribe button coming below this video click on that subscribe button it will give you a bell icon click on that bell icon select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my upcoming and future videos and also guys if you have good network of friends uh, please share my videos with them and ask them to subscribe to my channel and guys if you want to donate to our channel so what you can do is you can go to the topmate.io link which is given in the blue color uh, on this slide you need to type out the complete link uh, up till number seven starting with h you need to type in the complete link in your browser open it uh, to make any donations via the website in case you are using any upi based apps like google pay or phone pay you can directly pay to us by scanning the barcode that is coming on the right hand side and which is the upi code which you can scan through your upi app to make any donations and payments all right guys i thank you once again for your time on this video today and you have a wonderful day helps.